Hi everybody, it's Rob and we are still busy with the SEO training and this video is about Google stacking. Now, it's just a term that people use that really means putting your links or links to your properties, in other words, links to your website on all of the Google stuff, right? That's this stuff. In a planned and structured manner that makes and they must be live links too i mean you can have um a google sheets or google docs that aren't visible to the public you make them visible and on them you put links and entire pages compilation of links um you, you that kind of thing it's as if you structuring planning and things you use them for what they could be used for but in them, inside of those documents, you refer to your website and pages on your website and details that effectively gives backlinking to your website from Google's own properties. So these are what Google owns and you linking from Google to your website and Google gives its own links, pretty high value, which is cool. Now, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. If you do Google stacking correctly, and there are the right ways and the wrong ways, uh, you can rank on page one for almost any term by, by literally by, by piling up the links in certain ways. Now, I need to point out that firstly, you can go and do this yourself without any training. You go to Google Sheets. And you create a sheet about that page that you want to rank for or that category sometimes it's better to do it per category for example and so on that category you say okay well now we're talking about anxiety and the connection between that or the benefits of that and what was my example acupuncture so almost all the pages sheets slides photos that you do for this that specific stack is related to acupuncture and anxiety and hang on a second sorry trying to clear my throat ah, postnatal is such fun so if you then create as many of these and make them live and interlink them too so your sheets will refer to your all your google docs or the google docs will have a combination of links to the sheets on that doc so there's ways of stacking it and piling it so the one gives power to the other that refers to so the youtube videos mentioned on the sheets right and on the slides and those slides and sheets all get referred to in a single google doc um, and you, obviously your google doc refers to your google my business and whatever it all is um to be honest i don't know if you can still create personalized maps in my map um, uh, I found they work. Uh, let me see if I can find you one. I'll do it in a second. But anyway, so basically that's that's it in a nutshell. At three minutes, it's enough. Uh, you go and you create a combination of links and, and, and chatting. Pages and pages of work, yeah. But you refer that across back to your, your money page or a page on your, on your money site, right? Uh, one that... Is obviously where you want the links to drive to and I would suggest that you don't just randomly go in and do a Google Doc and and link it to your your page although that will probably be okay too but I'm saying if you're gonna actually create stacking plan it plan it and see how you can interlink and tie them all together so that the power of them all goes to eventually to a single doc and bow to a link to your website um, if by the way this involves a fair amount of testing too so you need to take care that you don't overdo it um, you could also send your google stacking links to your wix or weebly site and then link from that back to you so that if you make trouble with your stack um, it, it might not kill off your money site but I think if you're not over enthusiastic with piling links in there and keeping RSS feeds of links and links of feeds and uh, and putting all of that into more docs and more docs refer to more docs and 
so when you're finished you've got this insane level of of stacking that is not natural at all uh, yeah you're likely to just come unstuck and, and get into trouble so so take it easy with it and use it correctly now um, give me a second it'll teach me to have lunch in between <coughs> so there's a very 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 cool course on Google stacking from the best guys in the business and, uh, and I'll give you a link on my links page my resources page to them if you want to go and learn how to do it properly um, Google stacking is very very powerful for local business but it's powerful for everything so yeah but if you've got a local business a Google my business and you you kind of combine your Google stacking you'll be the most popular plumber electrician roofer in your area within a couple of weeks um, and be busy forever if you want to be a, a plumber roofer I don't suggest it so I suggest you use Google stacking category by category and you only create three or four or five stacks and they will just power up your category and then as you can add more you add those links to your stack sorry linking to your stack from elsewhere <coughs> uh, by the way once you've created a stack I suggest you go back and put it through your IFTT feed and all of your social media places that says hey check this out I've got a new doc on Google Docs that's free for you if you're interested in in a list of people that are um, active in acupuncture and anxiety cure subjects you know that kind of thing and uh, it's going to give you the authority links that you need that's that's all I need to tell you now so at six minutes it's enough just know that there are tricks in fact let me let me go to one of these I'll go to Google Doc one second um, I probably haven't been here yet in this new my fibromyalgia gmail account so um, let's see so first up if they tell you stuff I'm, I'm in with I already got Grammarly I'll leave it for now uh, take the tour um, share with others to edit together this is really cool so know what you can and can't do wow if you knew how many times I'm pausing like a crazy man just to get past the lunch issue here so you create a new document and you treat it like a word doc you literally write it out like a page on your website okay and then when it comes to view I think it's in here oh ah it's in share I'm not sure if this is where it is uh, here can view can edit okay and then you have to make it see it's right now private so you make it public on public on the web <coughs> and you click Save and now you've got a link that you can share here uh, you can obviously tweet it and whatever as well let me just see if it's all cool I'm gonna click done um, if I go back to share here there we go get a shareable link so then it does that link for me and you can copy the link and you've now got a goodie that that is pretty handy for for being able to spread it out out there now the trick in this game of Google stacking is to do this correctly so that you don't scare Google into thinking you've just piled 300 backlinks into here for Google to find um, you need to structure it in a less invasive manner and so think about it simply as another property like a website a web page that you would presume that people could come and read it understand it follow the few links you only need two or three links um, per document because they will link to other links and link to those documents and ultimately they'll get there what you want from it so this way it would be whatever it was and then it'll go to my page but you would have done this 
as to whatever you needed it to be. So you don't, here's the thing, don't link out on your, on your title. <coughs> but that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, so take a gentle, treat it like a normal document. Don't over hype it. Don't over link it. Make it look like you, you, you know, you can even do summary of my anxiety, um, properties. So there are certain things that you can get away with. Um, but yeah, um, there is a chance, by the way, that you can go get, let me pause this and go and see. Okay, so I simply went to YouTube and looked it up. And let me say Web2O Ranker, totally, totally trustable. You can watch this video and believe anything they teach you. Never heard of, jo I have heard of John Locke. I don't know how much you can trust him. Semantic Mastery, 100% brilliant. They're the guys with the course that I'm going to give you a link to. to. And by the way, if you're going to go there, please use my link. Uh, that way I get the commission and not these guys. Um... <coughs> I'm not sure who Dennis is. He looks coherent. Here's Semantic Mastery again. Uh, Web2 Ranker again. So it's pretty safe to use those few and check it out. Chris Walker, that's interesting. I've recently been watching stuff of his. Neil Patel is very well known. So you see, we're back to. Google stacking from Symmetry and more semantic. So th those are the safe ones. <laughs> By the way, RRS is a Google stack course that literally stands for rank your shit. I love it. I love how they think and their, their training is incredibly brilliant. So yeah, it's safe. It's safe to say that you can go out there and, and, and Google a little bit of training, further training on Google stacking to kind of get a better feel as to what they tell you must be careful of and what you should or shouldn't. Um, as per any training, I believe that the more you watch, the more you will learn to see where the rubbish is and where the not rubbish is, okay? Um, it also gives you probably what I've got by now, a, a such a huge bland overview of it to where you kind of know that there's good and bad in every method. And so I, in all my SEO efforts now, I don't get totally excited about something anymore because very often it's just hyped up because at the moment some guy let uh, launched a good course he you know a big course big not necessarily good and what he did was he stirred the media or the or the the, the internet up um that are in that niche so let's say it's, it's a make money online niche <coughs> some guy does a brand new google stacking course and then for the next couple of weeks, every guy out there talks about Google stacking because it's what's been discussed. Um, will it be valid in a year? Yeah. Was it better now than then? Ah, who knows? So Google stacking, it does work, people. It's very, very important. Far better than just RSS. Perhaps even better than social media, but they all kind of tie together. So there's your SEO for this one. Right, next video coming up. Cheers.